Hey guys, today we'll be learning how to divide by one digit divisors. Now keep in mind, like especially in fifth grade, when you're di um, dividing by one digit divisors, the numbers, the divisors that you're going to confront are probably going to range from two to nine because we know that when, whenever we divide any number by one, your quotient is going to be that same number. So that's why most likely you're going to get two to nine numbers for, as, or, as your divisors. So it's really important that you know your times tables because most likely when kids get fifth grade, they think that you know that you can rely on cal calculators because I mean I'm not sure like depending on what state you're living in or what country you're living in, maybe you're not allowed to use calculators in fifth grade, but here you are. So like you know kids most likely like rely on those and they forget their times tables. But you know when you're taking your state tests. You, sometimes you're not allowed to use calculators and that's when kids struggle because they don't know like what times what equals what. So that's what's really important that you um, repeat, you memorize your um, times tables from 2 to 9 in order to do dividing by one digit divisors. So let's take a look at an example here. So for example, if we have 632, say, divided by 5, first thing you're going to do is you're going to write this here in division form. So 632 divided by 5. First thing you're going to do is you're going to consider the first number in your dividend, which is 6. So let's just underline that, 6. Now, if you're going to look at our divisor, we're going to see how many times does 5 go into 6. We know that 5 times 1 equals 5. So that means we're going to subtract 6 by 5, and we're going to get 1. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the second number and bring that down. So that means now we have 13. So how many times is 5 going to 13? Two times, because 5 times 2 is 10. And then we have 3 left. Now we're going to go back and bring the 2 down. So now we have 32. How many times is 5 going to 32? Six times, because 5 times 6 is 30. So now we have 2. So that means that we have 2 as a remainder. Now, this in this case, we're going to have our quotient as an improper fraction. So whenever you're writing your improper fraction, the first thing that you're going to write is your um, quotient that you have. So that's going to be 126. And then you're going to look at your remainder. And you're going to write this um, as your numerator and your actual divisor as your de um, denominator. That means your improper fraction is going to be 126 and 2 fifths. So that means the quotient to 632 divided by 5 equals 126 and 2 fifths, which is an improper fraction. Let's take a look at another example in which we can convert the improper fraction to a decimal. So that way we will not have a remainder left. Let's say we have 525 divided by 2. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to write 525, so 5, 2, 5, and 2 here. How many times is 2 going to 5? So the first number is 5, right? So 2 times 2 was 4. That means 5 minus 4 would give us a difference of 1. And then we're going to bring down the 2 here. So now we have 12. How many times is 2 going to 12? 6 times. So 2 times 6 is 12. Then we're going to bring down the 5 here. And now how many times is 2 going to 5? 2 times because 2 times 2 is 4. I'm sort of running out of space here. Now, we have a remainder of 1, if you can see that. The remainder of 1. Now, we could write this as a, um, an improper fraction. So, that would be 262 and, and, a, and a half because 1 over 2 is a half. But we want to change this into a decimal. So, right now I'm out of space here. So, I'm going to rewrite this thing over here So in a smaller um, script so that we can fit everything. So 525 and 2. So we had 200 and... Just give me one second. Sorry, I'm going to rewrite this one more time. 525 and 2. So this was 4. Right. So now we had 1 left, right? So we were going to change this into a decimal. So first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add a decimal point up here in your quotient. And then this decimal point allows you to, over here, add a zero here. So now we have 10 divided by 2. How many times does 2 go to 10? 5 times. Therefore, we're going to write a 5 after decimal point, and this is going to become a 10. 
And now we have a zero as a remainder. That means we do not have a remainder. <coughs> Excuse me. That means <coughs> our quotient equals 262.5. That So we're going to go back to our problem and we're going to write 262.5. So now if we want to check this, we can always go back to this problem right here. 262 and 1 half. That was our um, improper fraction, right? We know that 0.5 is 1 half. That means that this is the right answer. So that was um, another problem that we looked at. So now if you want to look at more um, problems uh, related to one digit divisors, you can visit our website. And I have listed some step-by-step -step instructions there. And we'll see you guys next time.